Hello Legends. In this video, I'm gonna run you through this AI invoice agent, which accepts an input from this chat node here. Uh, this can be Gmail, Telegram, WhatsApp, whatever you want. And we use this OpenAI analyze image step, which is gonna analyze the invoice that we receive and convert it into a JSON structure. We then parse that JSON structure and we add the details into a Google Sheet, which has all the details from the invoice, like the invoice number, the vendor, the description of services, uh, the total due amount and the status. So this code node not only parses the JSON output from here, but also converts it into Markdown so that we can pop it directly into this AI invoice agent. And this agent's responsible for replying back to that Telegram, to the chat, to the Gmail, uh, saying, hey, we received your invoice. Um, if we run into any issues, we'll be in touch. So to demo the AI invoice agent, I've got a chat GPT generated invoice here with the vendor information, the due date information and the invoice number, as well as the line items on the invoice. And then finally the total that has to be paid. All right, so I just dropped the invoice into the chat window over here. Now I'm gonna run this and we're gonna see that this receives the invoice. We're processing it with the open AI step. Once that's finished processing, it'll turn to JSON. We'll parse that JSON, convert it into Markdown as well. We'll add it into Google Sheets, and then we have that response generated back here. So we received your invoice number 67890 for a total of 4125 from Office Solutions. Uh, thanks for sending that through. The details have been recorded on our system and no further action is needed at this stage. If we need anything, a member from Bar Corp will be in touch. So let's verify all that information. We have invoice number 67890, which is the same as this. The total is 4125, which is a total over here, 4125. Then we have Office Solutions, which is the vendor, and then the date of the invoice, the 4th 24, which is over here, the 4th 24. And then we have the invoice added to our Google Sheets. So we have 67890 as the invoice number, the vendor is here, the uh, the date, the invoice date, and the due date as well, the description. The description is literally just all the line items put into a single string. So we can confirm that in a second. And then we have subtotal, tax, and total. So looking at the invoice again, the due date is 0508, which is here. Subtotal 3750, then we have 375 in tax, which is here. And then for this, we have, so two laptops, six chairs, one printer, one install service. And we have the same thing, two laptops, six chairs, one printer, and one install service. So the setup is very simple. This open AI step is just the analyze image operation. And I'm just gonna open up the prompt to show you, but the prompt is very basic as well. It's just a simple role and set of instructions. So I'm defining that you are an AI assistant that extracts structured data from invoices. You can actually use this same model or this same analyze image operation for any set of images. You don't just need to use it for invoices. If you've got more complicated unstructured data like uh, architectural drawings, or if you have like, you know, uh, blueprints or like technical diagrams of products, you could actually use this operation to analyze those into like a JSON output. Um, JSON output is the absolute easiest because you can just create a certain structure that you always want to stick to. And in our case, we've got the JSON structure here, which is the exact same structure that we have here in Google Sheets. So we know that we're marrying up the actual AI image analysis to what we want, like what the expectation of the output is. So that's how we determine this JSON output. But yeah, for this specific assistant, we're just using it to analyze invoices and pull out key information that we can then later use like uploading it into a Google Sheet, which just makes this whole invoice process a lot simpler and easier. Um, and then we have some rules over here and pretty much we're just looking to always have a JSON output. Uh, if there's any information that's missing from the invoice, we you know just you know put a, a null value into that field. Um, we want a date in a specific format and do not include any explanations or additional text. So for this, um, if you wanted to like kind of make this a bit more specific to your use case, I would go into a chat GPT window and I would just paste in this specific prompt and then say, hey, here are a sample of five invoices that I receive on a daily or weekly basis. Um, can you update the JSON structure? So the actual output format to cover all the specific fields that I get in my invoices. So that's how you personalize this for your use case. Now the code node is parsing the JSON from the previous step. And just to expand on this, um, yeah, we're parsing the actual JSON using a very basic function. Then we're creating a markdown. So we want the markdown because we can't just plug in JSON into that AI agent step. So we're just creating a very basic markdown structure, which is the exact same as what we have in Google Sheets, the exact same as what we have in the previous step. So all these steps have to marry up. Um, so you can also plug this into the chat GPT window, the one that optimizes your prompt and your JSON output to also optimize your markdown output here as well. So that's what we're doing in this step. And then we're uploading all that information to Google Sheet. So if I open up Google Sheet, I'm just scrolling down here, we have the append row operation and then all of these variables are actually from that code node. 
So we're just splitting it up into the specific areas that we want to upload into. And then for the AI invoice agent, uh, yeah, we're just bringing in the markdown from that code node as the user input. And then for the system message, let me expand this. Again, it's very basic. Um, if you were to like, it depends on what your specific use case is and the automation that you're building. Um, if it's coming from uh, Gmail, then you might add some more structure to the output. If it's in Telegram, then you might have some different steps. So this specific workflow is a very good starting point for you to build out an invoice assistant. Um, but yeah, we're just defining the set of responsibilities. So you're an AI invoice assistant. This is the company that you work for, Bart Corp. And your job is to receive the markdown information. And I mean, since we have all the information in markdown, we can actually generate a response that's super rich with data and say, hey, you know, thanks. Um, uh, what's this computer supply company? We received your you know, invoice for six chairs, two laptops, whatever else. Um, but in our case, we're just keeping things super simple. Uh, we've got a very basic objective and set of instructions. And all we're looking to do is just that very short response, which is really good for instant chat for like a Telegram or a WhatsApp agent. Uh, and here's a sample output. So we received your invoice, uh, which is one, two, three, four number for a total of this. Um, and then, you know, from the vendor name and then some very basic information. Thanks. We have no problem so far. If we run into any issues, then we'll be in touch. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can download this workflow from my Gumroad. I'm going to have a link in the description. Please like, please subscribe, please comment below if you find this interesting or, you know, how you would actually build it out to improve on it. Um, and yeah, thank you very much.